in just four minutes. Let's design this to that in Photoshop. Let's begin. First things first, all these files are linked in the description. So let me arrange them like in such a way that they are all aligned in the center. So I'll go to color adjustments and choose solid color. So I'm going to get a background. So I'll select like pinkish that is relevant to the artwork. So I'll go and make sure I'm on the artwork and adjust the opacity to see the background. So I'm seeing the can. So now I'll proceed to edit and I'm going to pick free transform. So I'm going to adjust the artwork. So I'll hold shift plus alternate and adjust all corners evenly. So after that, I can go on and confirm and that's fine. So I'll go back and adjust the opacity back to 100 and I'll go to blending modes and choose multiply. So after choosing multiply, I'm going to hold the control and click on the thumbnail of the can mockup to make the selection around the can like so. So now I'll go back to the layer of my artwork and straight to layer mask icon and click once to make a cutout. So after making a cutout, there is some excess that is transparent of, of the artwork. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I'll go back to the can and click on the thumbnail and make a selection around the can again. So I'm going to click here to invert the mask. This means I'm going to delete anything that is around that can. So I'll go back to my mask and I'm going to pick the brush and I have to make sure it is hard brush. Everything has to be 100 except the size. So the size you can adjust using square brackets. The, the flow I will go with um, like 100 and I'll make sure color swap is black because I'm going to erase. So you can adjust the brush size either using the left square bracket or the right hair bra square bracket, sorry. So I'll go on and I think that is okay. So the next thing what I'm going to do is make sure it, there is multiply blending mode. So next step I'll go to FX and choose blending options. Here I'm going to make that can realistic. So I'll go straight to blend if at the bottom you will see it at the bottom and I'm going to hold alternate and adjust that slider towards left to create a realistic surface around my can. So and that's it guys. So the next thing I want to create a shadow because you can't uh, make an any object to be realistic, it must have a shadow in Photoshop or in the real world. So I'm going to make a shadow. So select my, the layer below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to color adjustments and I'm going to choose solid color. So I'm going to go with black and I'm going to hold control plus I to invert the mask. So that means what I'm going to paint is the one that is going to appear on the artboard. So I'm, I'll go straight to my brush and I'm going to um, to pick soft round brush. So I'm going to squeeze it or to twist it a little bit because I want it like to be flat and I'll adjust the flow since I want the shadow it has to be soft. So I'm going to make my shadows like so. And that's all guys. So that's how it looks on the white background. Thanks for watching. Peace.